I don't. I would hope that if the change come about that he's looking for, I'm gonna give it two years. He has to be, have two years to straighten right. out some of the stuff that's already been messed up. And right now, I mean, he's healthcare. Right now, for most poor people, has improved since he's been in the Black House. I mean, the White House. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> but um, it's for us. They can go now and get medical help where you couldn't go before because when you were sick before, you had to go to the emergency room. That's the only way you could do it if you don't have insurance. Now he's making it possible for everybody to have insurance, which I think is a good thing. Mm-hmm. You know, a lot of people don't think, but I really do believe it. Okay. Do you think it's um, significant? Or do, like, what, do you, what, what other changes would you like to see in your, in your community? And in your area? In my community, I would like to see more homes being rebuilt, which is happening, slowly but surely, because you got so many areas that's so down. Houses being neglected, rats running up and down the alley. I would like to see, and I know the president can't do it all. We have a mayor Mm -hmm. and a governor that should be helping us do some of this stuff. But they're more concerned about cutting police time, which shouldn't happen. Cutting hospital times, emergency room workers can't, putting everybody out of work because of the definite deficit that they made. We didn't make the deficit. Mm -hmm. That's they're doing. They hold those purse strings, not us. But we pay the price. How do you think that citizens and community members are most effective in getting what they want and like letting people know what they want? Well, I tell you, we had a rat problem around in the area I used to live in and a roach problem. What I did was went around and I thought, it's not a bad thing, it was a good thing for my community, Mm -hmm. is to get a petition. Take to our councilmen, Mm -hmm. let them know our problem. And that's exactly what I did. We had pictures, we did that. Then we had a thing they called the Rat Patrol Mm -hmm. come out and exterminate in the area, which was good. Our housing development, we made a, took a petition up there to them, they came and they had to exterminate our whole area, which is something, if you don't put your foot down to do something about it, nobody else will, so. So it's really just about motivating community members and getting them them together. You have to get, we lived in the cul-de-sac of the apartments. And if you can't get the people in that cul-de-sac to do something, you're not going to get anybody else in the surrounding area to do anything. Mm-hmm. Start with, start with, start little, build. That's what you do. Okay. You've been talking about like letter drives and community activism um, that's like local. Do mm-hmm. you think that's a more um, like effective relationship? It's like, more effective because of the little voices. It's not, it's not like you got a congressman sitting right there in your neighborhood that's going right. to make something happen. Our community leader, Mrs. Smith around our way, um, it's another neighbor across the street from us. Those are, they're older senior citizens, but they are fierce. And when they want to get something done, they will knock on doors, every door in our area put out flyers, it's, it, that's what we do. I had my grandchildren doing it one weekend <laughs> down there with me, you know, that we had this big Halloween, I mean not Halloween, we had this big Thanksgiving um, drive we're doing now for food to take around that church around the corner just to help people that can't help themselves because mm-hmm. we have a lot of them around there, you know. You've been, Earlier, you said like President Obama it, like inspires you and it like gives you this sense of pride. Yes. Do you, and then later we were talking about Sheila Dixon and her, like how you do like letter drives and you are more involved, or you you address more of your stuff to the mayor. So is it to her office or to the to the office? Yes, yeah, to her. I don't like Sheila Dixon. She has. She doesn't instill pride in anybody, but herself. Um, we did a meeting with her one time with our union when I used to work at the racetrack and all she could talk about was what she wanted to do, what she was going to do. 
da 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 Question and answer period comes. Oh, can't answer questions now. Have to watch. Had, she did a speech, told us all this. Nobody could ask questions until the end of the speech. By the time the end of the speech came, she was on her way out the door. She wanted you to listen to her, but she won't listen to you. So what you do is you go around to your councilman. You get more activity out of your councilman than you do a mayor. Really? Yes, you do. If you're in, like, I'm in District 7, you go to your councilman. You write to your councilman, which is what we do. We have a write and drive. You know, if mm -hmm. we have something we need to do, like the potholes in our street to be addressed, that's what we address. The rats and everything in our community to be addressed, that's what we address. Okay. You know, and they, and, and you get, they, you worry them enough, it's like you send a letter. It's like in the movie, uh, the man sent a letter, Redemption. No, Shawshank Redemption. Yeah. You send a letter every day, every week. Sooner or later, somebody's going to listen. They're not going to see all that pipe paperwork keep piling up on their desk. So that's what we do. And then Mrs. Smith, <clears throat> our community leader, <clears throat> she gets things started. This lady is, what, 75 years old, and she is fierce when she wants something done. We got our potholes fixed in our street within three weeks. Wow. After, wait a minute, but after three months of letters. Wow. And so, you know, you go, go to your councilman. That's what we elected them for. And if possible, if <laughs> something big or major come up, I'm sure she'd write president. <laughs> so I have no doubt in my mind that she wouldn't do it. You said a lot of people um, on the community, I guess the community board. Mm -hmm. Um, or senior citizens. How many like young people are involved? Well, we have a lot of young people in our area. Most anybody under thirty is not involved. Really? Doesn't care. You can tell by the neglect in their yards and stuff like that. We try to approach them, but sometimes some people are just unapproachable. Where do you think that um, like break comes from between the older senior citizens? Working there. Now, I got to say, they have a lot of respect for us around there, the young people. I mean, I say young. When I, when I say young, I'm talking about 20 and under. You know, you know, when I got my brand new car, or not brand new, but used, went and parked it on the front. Before I could get my key in my door, this little young boy was sitting on the hood. And I turned around, and I'm like, excuse me. I just bought that car, and it's not your personal bench. Oh, yes, ma'am, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. And he got off, and I never had anybody else sitting on my car again. But <clears throat> there's things like that. Mm -hmm. They do respect you. If you ask them nicely, please don't do this, they do that. Walk around with your pants hanging down. I walked up to a young man. I said, excuse me, ma'am, can you please pull your pants up? That does not look good. He's like, yes, ma'am. Pulled them up and kept on walking. But, you know, but as far as being actively involved in the community no they won't they just don't have the time or they just don't care do you think they'll get more involved as they get older or i can't see it no. maybe if they get their own and have to be responsible for it maybe and that's what some of the young people now are saying you know about Pre president obama okay we can do better we can do better we can aspire to do better but it's all, it's up to them. We can't make anybody do anything. President Obama can't make anybody do anything, but he can be an example of what they could be. That's the mm -hmm. way I feel about it, so. Okay. okay.